everybody, this is Becky Legiro for CoinGeek.com. Here with Zhao Wei of Scrypt, and we are here at the University of Exeter, and you are the man of the hour. You are so popular. <laughs> it took me a long time to get you out here to join me, so thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Yeah. It's a pleasure to be here. Oh, it's such a pleasure to be here too, and I love watching the students engage with you because it means that you're really educating them on something very important. So tell us, what is your goal with this hackathon project here at the University of Exeter? You know, for us, it's always, you know, it's, uh, it's good to have people, you know, it's one thing to make good tools and, uh, you know, APIs, everything ready to go, but it's another thing to have real people using to build really cool applications. So that's what all we are here for. You know, it's almost like a week long, it's four days long, and we have about 70 or 80 students coming every day. And uh, in the morning, or early afternoon, we teach them the theory of, uh, you know, SQL Bitcoin Smart Contract. At the end of the day, everybody wants needs to build some kind of like a, uh, working prototype. I think it's so it's very tense because people just constantly have questions. You know, it's uh, you know it's uh, where the rubber hits the road, and uh, people really get excited. So I'm also excited, and we really look forward to what kind of things this uh, young students build out of this. Outstanding. And, and what would you say the level of understanding is with these students in, of smart contracts in general? I know that a lot of the time people associate smart contracts with Ethereum. I think we're slowly moving beyond that. Um, but where were they when you started and where do you think they are now? Yeah, then, you know, when I first started the first uh, day, I, I was saying, hey, if you don't have a uh, prior knowledge about Bitcoin or smart contract, don't worry about it because this is supposed to go from zero, which I call hero. You know, basically <laughs> you don't have to, any private experience. Yeah. So, so far I think it's uh, so good because all these students, they are coming from like a fintech kind of uh, environment. So they're not, you know, traditional programs as we talk about more like computer science or computer engineering. So I think they're, they're more representative of the vast majority of developers out there. They don't have anything bitcoin to say about. Mm -hmm. So. I think it's picking up pretty well. They can, you know, deploy the simple apps today and they build a contract yesterday and deploy the Hello World in the first day. I think, yeah, that means, I, I think it means we are doing some good job because to make the, the tools such that the, for, the, for the developers, that job is much easier than, you know, let's say on other blockchains because for us, you're pretty much doing this like in JavaScript, like which we, we call TypeScript. So that I think that helps a lot of, uh, you know, lower the barrier to entry. And also because we have now not only the standalone piece, but also we have a full stack development platform. So I think that the integrate part really also helps the students to, you know, even they don't have prior knowledge or experience, but it's, it looks like them they are getting bored quite quickly. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I love that. And and the University of Exeter is just one of many universities, clearly, around the world. What makes this university special? Why are you actually here? Oh, it's the number one reason. It's because, the, uh, you know, Jack Rogers yeah. over there. So, <laughs> you know, he's always our biggest uh, fan. Yeah. I was here like uh, about two months ago. Yeah. And then he said, hey, you, you, you're coming to come back again. I said, yeah, we are launching this platform. I really want you, you know, to come to teach the students. So. You know, we launched the develop platform at the London conference, and then we just came here, you know, for the whole week and really teaching the students, which are the, our first users for the new platform. So, yeah, it's all kudos to to Jack Rogers to arrange this thing. So here, you also talk about right? this is also one of the just one of thousand, if not tens of thousands, universities. Yeah. So our plan is not to only to do it in Exeter, mm -hmm. but you know, that's also why I did you guys here too, because we are going to edit the videos, everything is recorded, mm -hmm. and we are going to upload you some kind of a MOOC website, like a Mathif online course for free, and affiliate with Exeter University. So that will be make it to the, this is the official course for Escrip. So if we, we don't have to go to every university to teach, teach this again, you know, I love that. I think <laughs> maybe next I go to, Cambridge or go to some university in Philippines, we just talk about Bitcoin Associated. But from now on, if anybody wants to hop on and study to learn about uh, Escape or Bitcoin Smart Contract, we can just send him the link. You know, he's uh, professional edited, we have all the materials, 
and uh, seems working for this student. So the idea is to replicate it to all other universities too. We need to replicate you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I mean, that's even better. I mean, if I have 10,000 copies of me, uh, we, can, we don't have to do this course. I can just go do like a word tour and then we are, we are already to the moon. So, so that's the limitation we have. It's not unbounded. So. Yeah. Oh, this is really great news. And, and I, you mentioned uh, the Philippines and the university there and the Bitcoin Association. Tell me uh, what's going to be happening in the Philippines with educating students uh, about Bitcoin script and smart contracts. Yeah, I was just, uh, you know, we have, uh, you know, a script team here, but we also have Todd Price from uh, Bitcoin Association. Yeah. So we were just talking. He told me, hey, you know, after Exeter, do you want to come to the Philippines to also teach about S script smart? I said, yeah, sure, why not? Mm -hmm. So basically, there, they also have a few universities interested in this, and to make it even more scalable, we're not, he's, he's saying, we're not only teach, we're not teaching the students directly, because I guess there's maybe too many universities, too many students to fit in one room or two. Yeah. So he's saying, hey, we are just teaching the professors, mm -hmm. so they can then teach this other student. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, he just pitched me this idea. Yeah, I, I think I love it, and uh, maybe next, Next quarter or something, I go to Philippines. We'll see. And you'll be there too, I guess. Hey, why not? <laughs> I love that. We love your work at S. Crip Jawe. It's so great to see you here. Good luck with your travels around the world and duplicating yourself many times. Yeah, I'm uh, <laughs> going to Berlin next. So yeah. I think we'll see a lot of people in Berlin there too. Well, have a great time. Really appreciate your time here today. I am here with Jack Rogers of the University of Exeter, the man that made all of this possible, the S. Crip hackathon project here at the university. Jack, tell us about this initiative and how you came up with the idea. For a long time, we thought it would be better to have like, instead of a traditional dissertation um, in the summer, which is what the master's students normally do, um, for our FinTech here at Exeter, uh, why not get students just building real apps just straight away? Um, you know, putting their knowledge into practice, if you like. Um, so when Xiao Hui approached me, I was like, okay, it sounds like a great idea. Let's do it. And it's as simple as that, really. Yeah. Oh, I love that. So tell me about the students that are here participating. We've hit like just under 90 students now. And I don't know, like, I guess their passion, you know, by definition is FinTech. They chose, they chose to do a FinTech degree. Yeah. Um, but you can really see like as the years, you know, progressed, um, I guess there's a real diversity of like experience that they brought with them as well. And, you know, as we speak, they're, they're being put into groups right now. Um, they, they get along with each other. They're having a lot of fun. Yeah. Obviously, some of them are better you know, on the business strategy side of things, and some of them are better coders, to, you know, to put it in, in sort of two main camps. Um, but, you know, they've all done a whole bunch of different modules at Exeter. So some of them have even done a marketing module, you know, at one extreme, and then all the way to um, like, like pure programming module that they can do as, as options as well. So they can kind of specialize during the year and then put the best of what they've got together in their groups, like at the end, basically. So it's, it's, it's pretty cool, yeah. And I love seeing their interaction with Zhao Wei. It's like everyone seems super excited. And actually, so, so Zhao Wei is leading a bunch of sessions and presentations and things like this, but there are some other activities and treats that you have in store for the students. Can you tell us kind of how the schedule is working for these four days? Yeah, so these four days consist of a lot of presentations from Zhao Hui. Uh, a typical day has been like a morning of theory, uh, breaking down like how Bitcoin works, getting into some details about, you know, the UTXO model and how it's different to Ethereum's account-based model um, and, and, you know, the advantages of that and how it scales. And I could go on, but you kind of get the idea. So there's kind of some theory that you kind of need to know. And then, um, you know, they, they just put into practice um, what he teaches them about S script. They're running through some practical tasks every afternoon. So, you know, he, he might give them a, a, a task with some prizes at the end, free t-shirts, you know, loads of, loads of silly prizes. Basically, um, just apply what they've learned about a script in, in the end. Um, yeah. Cool, and I know that some of the special features, you have a social that's going to be happening, and you also have a panel presentation and some special guests. Can you tell us what to expect? We're joined by, yeah, the really special guest, Craig Wright. And so he, he'll be with us to tell us if, you know, what we're saying is, is right or wrong, okay? Um, but, you know, so that should make it quite interesting. So yeah, it's, it's, just been, it's just been a lot of fun and we're really looking forward to that sort of climax yeah. at the end. It's gonna be great. Thank you so much for putting all of this together. It's our pleasure to be here. 
Thank you so much for being here, Becky. I uh, really appreciate you, you being here. It's been fantastic. Thanks. And thank you guys so much for watching. This is Becky Legero for CoinGeek.com. Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin wallet, blockchain, stablecoins, Metanet, the evolution of money. Everybody is talking about Bitcoin today, but what exactly is it? Learn the basics from experts. Learn what Bitcoin is, how it works, and why it matters. Bitcoin 101, your ultimate guide to the fundamentals of blockchain.